Hi YouTube. I know it has been quite some time since our last uh, update and uh, blog post, but finally we have some news for you. We have this new project. This is the LED 4x4 cube controlled by an Arduino Mega. And uh, in the blog post you probably just read, there is a guide about how to build this uh, and how these uh, LEDs are separated into four layers and how these layers are separated into 16 individual LEDs. So by using the multiplexing technique we can control these 16 LEDs and then enable and disable the layers and toggle between these layers to turn on and control all 64 LEDs as we have in this cube. We made a small demonstration running on the Arduino Mega with a, using the timer 2 interrupts as the multiplexing technique. So let's power up the Arduino and uh, see it in action. Now the Arduino has boot up. We can see the LED cube starts the first demonstration, which is the pixel jumping example. Let's turn off the light. And uh, after a couple of seconds, it will switch to the rota rotating plate example in all different uh, axes and now it went back to the pixel jumping routine and then it it executes all four examples once again the current example this 4x4 cube is controlled by 20 pins on the Arduino. Writing to these pins or port registers directly to speed up the the control of the LEDs. As you can see this rotating plate and in the other direction too. And seen from above we have this rotating in the C axis. And then from the beginning again so with this 4x4 cube you can of course do a lot of other demonstrations, example projects um, except for, for these demonstrated. You could uh, make a special VU meter or a um, spectrum analyzer or, or something else, um, something voice controlled or audio controlled or just as a uh, visualization uh, display thingy. Uh, it's only your imagination who who, ha who, <laughs> who sets the limits for what to do with, with such a cube. But, but with this project um, it is only a single color and we haven't enabled PVM yet. It would be possible but it would require at least 16 PVM pins. And another aspect of it is that the pin numbers could uh, definitely be reduced by making another grid, by connecting the LEDs in another type of grid. But that would make it more difficult to assemble. We decided to go for the easy solution and have shown you how to do that in the guide. We will probably soon uh, make a bigger version and also a, a an RGB version with multicolor LEDs. So hopefully when we get the time it will be an 8x8 multicolor RGB version and probably controlled by an Arduino too. Thanks for watching.